are getting some news uh, this morning regarding potential U.S.-China trade talks. Let's get to Eamon Javers in Washington. Eamon? Yeah, Carl, we got some dueling statements here from the U.S. side and from the Chinese side on tariffs and the trade war. First, uh, this just in from the U.S. Trade Representative's office, a new statement uh, from that office on China. They're saying the United States Trade Representative today is announcing the next steps in the process of imposing an additional tariff of 10 percent on approximately 300 billion of Chinese imports. This is just coming in, so I'm reading it here with you uh, live. But uh, they're referring back to the May 17th announcement in which they published a list of products imported from China that would be potentially subject to an additional 10 percent tariff. They're confirming this new tariff will go into effect on September 1, as announced by the president on August 1. Certain products are being removed from the tariff list, the USTR says, based on health, safety, national security, and other factors, and will not face additional tariffs of 10 percent. USTR also going on to say further, as part of their public comment period, it was determined that the tariff should be delayed to December 15th, for certain articles. Products in this group include, for example, cell phones, laptop computers, video game consoles, certain toys, computer monitors, and certain items of footwear and clothing. USTR going on to say they intend to conduct an exclusion process for products subject to this additional tariff. Today on their website, uh, they're going to publish additional details and lists of the tariff lines affected by the announcement. So the news in this USTR announcement that we're just getting now, Carl, uh, is that they're delaying until December 15th the tariff of 10 percent for certain articles uh, until that December 15th date. So that is an important one to bear in mind. Meanwhile, the Chinese foreign ministry also issuing a statement of its own based on a phone call that they're reporting that happened between Liu He, uh, the Chinese uh, leader who's been uh, the, the face of these negotiations for some time now, and also uh, Ambassador Lighthizer and Trade Minister Mnuchin. They're saying that the Chinese side has made solemn representations on the issue of tariffs on Chinese exports to the United States on September 1. Not clear what those solemn representations are that the Chinese side has been making to the U.S. side, so we'll have to press for more detail on that. Uh, they also say here the two parties agreed to call again in the next two weeks. So the Chinese statement here now referring to additional talks before that September 1st deadline for these new tariffs to go into place. And, of course, we had been expecting that the Chinese side and the U.S. side would meet in Washington after September 1st. At some point in early September, the U.S. side is still planning for that to happen. Uh, we don't have any finalization uh, as far as senior administration officials know from the Chinese side that there is a meeting uh, in early September, but they're assuming that that meeting is going on. So now the Chinese are putting out a statement saying there will be additional calls between now and September 1. The U.S. side saying that on September 1 those tariffs will go into effect, but some will be delayed until December 15th. And then there's this expectation of a meeting after that, guys. Back over to you.